Hey everyone. I've been up for about three and a half hours. Uh, I slept until just after 10 because I didn't really fall asleep until 2 o'clock this morning. <laughs> so I was spent the last few hours actually uh, editing the combination vlog of the past two days. They, since I didn't feel like doing uh, two separate video vlogs, namely because I <laughs> didn't really have an ending for Sunday's vlog and didn't really have a beginning to Monday. I sort of combined the two. But managed to get all the work done. It's now in the process of saving to the external drive and then I'll be exporting it to YouTube. And I'll show you what else I've been working on. As you can see, this video is just in the process of uploading it to my external file and then next I'll put it towards YouTube. Um, in the process of doing a bit of research for basically my next collection, I wanted to do my Dreamers collection of different uh, characters sleeping. Now, I also want to use a lot of the drawings too for my Dark Rose Tarot, so I think I have a way of combining the two so that I can create one huge collection because there are, I believe, 72 cards in a tarot deck, so that means 72 images that I need to at least create. And I'm going to go off with the fairy tale theme, the classic fairy tales. So, like Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella. But I'm also going to pull from other cultures too. That's why I've got my myth books and my Celtic fairy tales. I actually found in reading my Celtic fairy tales that two, at least two stories uh, sound the same as what's in uh, the Brothers Grimm's classic fairy tales. The Cinderella story in the Celtic version is actually called Fair, Brown, and Trembling. And the Snow White story is called Gold Tree and Silver Tree. So I might take that take of those stories. I gotta do a lot more playing. One thing I'm definitely going to be adding into the mix is Princess Kaguya. Because I just love the story of the bamboo cutter. And I'm going to base her imagery on the treasures that were depicted. And I think I got a way to pull this into uh, the Celtic theme uh, and Wiccan theme too because you might be surprised but uh, Stone Bowl, so Earth, uh, Fire Rat, so there we got Fire, Dragon, and in Japanese the dragons tend to be located in water, so there's my water. Swallow, which is an air animal. And of course the sound you hear from the shell of the sea is actually air just running through the shell. So that'll work for my air element. And then spirit element, the jewel tree. Because our spirits are often changing and in different aspects. I got a lot of work to do 
implying this out thoroughly. Okay, so I've been working on the tarot idea, trying to get the very first uh, character done. Okay. That's something I did up while I was a little bit struggling. That's Kagehimi. That. I used, I've got templates actually here. So I've got made a variety of templates that I can use so I can just get body positions. And these actually work well under light paper. So I just simply now just choose a position that I like. And then I can create the character on top of it. But in using that, I add one figure for the Fool card. I drew this up because the position I'd liked for the Fool, but I wasn't satisfied that this would well represent the Fool. So I started researching uh, gestures and clowns because that's typically what you'd see as a fool. And in my research, uh, I managed to come up with this drawing. This one I'm actually satisfied with. We've got the mask hiding, essentially. Uh, where the person's looking, <laughs> so they're not actually looking where they're going. And I pulled elements from um, actually this video. Now I won't be uh, using the same colors and such that are depicted in here, but that's where I'm going to, that's where I'm drawing some inspiration from. I'm also drawing inspiration from the traditional gesture outfit. So here we got the different leaves with the bells on them. And same for the overshirt and the cap sleeves. And we've I'm even thinking of putting the bells in the hair too. But this was not only inspired by uh, Miko Hatsune's puppet clown, but I'm uh, Harley Quinn was also another inspiration. That's why I got the upper ponytails because that's what I was seeing. For a clown, but I wanted more of the traditional gesture, but in a romantic feel, and that's why I chose the overall shape as a romantic with touches of gesture. Now I just have to choose the coloring, and I'll actually do that in Photoshop. Well, I post the picture of Princess Kaguya up on Instagram. Hopefully people actually figured out that's what the picture actually depicted. Uh, I just looked on Instagram and I got one like, and it's a doozy. <laughs> I'll have to show you a picture of who actually liked my picture. Well, I just had a closer look at who actually liked the post. Turns out it 
was not Nicki Minaj herself, but a fan of Nicki Minaj. Hopefully, <laughs> Nicki Minaj actually checks out the picture herself, and hopefully she likes it. It'd be great if she did. Anyway, it's starting to get late. I got up late. I want to get up early tomorrow, so I'm going to call this vlog a night. Until next time, everyone. See ya! Okay, a while back I had scanned this sketch into my computer and realized if I truly want to make it my own, I have to actually change the outfit of this one because this is based off of someone's actual concept that got into 3D animation of this character. This one, on the other hand, I don't have to worry about altering any bit because this one is more of a general one that is totally based off of another character, but I'm doing Miko, uh, the gingerbread uh, formation of 